I'm just a little bit caught in the middle, life is a maze. Okay, so this maze was, was pretty much messed up. Good morning people, this is MB and welcome back. And this episode we will be talking about the strategies that are being used on TS9 as a farming and as well as the pushing army. Uh, so let's see. I have a mini account in the UE that is a llama. Let's see. So this was my little brother's account and I have been using it for showcasing the attack strategy on TS9 because this is the only TS9 attack I uh, TS9 base I have so I've been doing the FC in the unity elite let's see monk as you can see is a pretty high TS9 quite maxed I would say has a good hero close to max let's see what I did on his base with a llama let's go <coughs> So this army is HDHV. Okay, but there is few things that I changed in this army that will be utilizing other aspects of this attack. First thing is in HDHV you don't have any Valkyries, but I did in this army composition. So why I did this? First of all, to enter the center I have to need a push that will break through the wall. Giants are good, but eventually they, they don't um, quite easily break the walls so I've been I'll be using Valkyries for that first thing you have to do in a GHB that I am using this can be used in anything uh, mainly in boars uh, or in push or in farming this is quite easy quite um, how should I put it cheap army around 200 K uh, Alexa and uh, 1200 uh, 12, 1200 D uh, and uh, for all this you can easily get millions million of Alexa and gold and uh, around 4k dark okay let's see what I did on his base first of all you have to deploy giants 10 giants behind will be four healers if you see, you see the king coming for you giants drop a well guy to take king down i'll be using that okay see well guy will be switching to king to finish him okay and clear the outside with the whiz i'm not using any wall breakers as you can see some might uh, wonder why i'm using this uh, and why i'm not using well wall breakers because i need the funnel with the whiz to clear the uh, area and uh, so as my bowlers, my kill squad, everything goes for the center. Nothing is, gets diverted around the base. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So the quite the good funnel. The okay bowlers, the vest, everything is going for the center, and uh, the rage is deployed. Queen is targeting the giants and everything goes for the center quite nicely the second rage will be deployed right for the center and after this if you see everything in, in the center and every expo or the high hidden dps defenses targeting the giants the killer squads of yours please deploy the hogs around the corner like this five five hogs surgical type and then the heal to take the healing effect on the hogs because things are damaging them them also let's see okay so this compartment is quite finished hmm nice everything around the left side is quite cleared the hogs are working on the defenses haste for the hogs and deploy haste around expose or high uh, hit point defenses you have to clear them faster with the hogs so you have to give them few some speed boost okay so the west tower is targeting the queen and the 
Hawks came by and took him easily. So let's speed this up. This was quite a clear. Let's see what happens now. Okay. I'm just a little bit caught in the middle. I face a maze. Okay, so this maze what was pretty much messed up. Hmm, nice. Uh, let's see. The last war we did in the Uni Unity Elite, we were quite efficiently matched against a good clan and they were quite leading from the starting but at the end we took a few hit I was three starred you might wonder what happened but let's not dwell on that let's see what we did yeah yeah let's see first of all let's see from the TH9 attacks uh, I think Krishna did a good attack Let's see what happens. This is quite a good base. Pretty much much maxed out and everything else like walls and everything is maxed. Okay, so this is a Gobolu Laloon where the golems, loon, lava are used. So let's see. Hmm. But this is a shattered Gobolu Loon. You know, using two golems for the center, and you have to take the AD, going from 280 side and taking the AD house out. The CC is coming out. The queen will be targeting the CC next. The heal for the killer squads to survive in the center. Let's see what happens. So, the ADs are gone. I think now the lava will be coming. Okay, so clockwise action is deploying the lava. Hound haste for speeding the loons. Okay, cannons. Okay, quite nice. Clockwise, clockwise rotation for the loons. Okay, okay, nice. The only thing I, s I could say that wasn't nice or right according to me was using too much spell for the single push on the first phase that was the golem one if he didn't use the heal on the uh, kill squad back then he could have used this around the west tower right now but he did back then so there wasn't any heal or the spells you left for him to use okay so everything is gone nice let's speed it up nicely done bro Okay, so let's go and watch the Zack attack. So let's see. Okay, quite nice base. Let's see what happens now. Queen coming from 2 o'clock. Behind are the vases for taking down the D storage and the below hut are being targeted by the archers. Rage for the queen to push towards the center. The wall break is deployed to give the opening for the walls. Enemy queen coming out for taking our queen. The poison down on the queen to slow her down. Now queen is going. Queen is going for the center. Quite a push. This rose. Let's see. Now the CC came out. The poison on the CC and the loons. Let's see. Now the rage will be deployed for the infernos and to take down this infernos and the expo behind the inferno. So the first phase of the attack is done. Let's see where the giants will be coming from. Might be from the bottom. Okay, let's see what happens. The vis for clearing the areas. Okay, the army army camp is gone wall breakers behind are the bowlers for giving them the push and the valkyries let's see what happens the jump for the center okay nice 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 okay hmm heal for the giants and the valkyries that 
went for the center okay nice let's see when the rage will be coming for them okay so now the rage being dropped and uh, as soon as the rage was dropped it went quite nicely down on the opponent everything went south for the opponent the wall breakers not the wall breakers the king the queen queen is still alive king is still max let's see nice only few defenses are left queen going for the bottom clearing and this air skellies are being diverting the queen now the air skellies are gone the top cannon is gone as well let's see okay so this space is quite the wrap let's speed it up nice tag zach well done bro should we see the ts11 versus 11 i did hmm? okay i think so let's see so again this is quite max th11 base around everything is max let's see I don't know why it was beneath me in the war ranking but let's see what happens so my plan was to walk from the bottom and glow and go anti-clockwise towards the inferno taking the eagle first and then the infernos hmm. queen warden doing the walk here comes the wall breakers rage to make them angry and take few more walls few more walls okay bowler did a quite well nice funnel for the center the, now the queen going for the center so around this time i thought the queen might end up going anywhere from the left or to the right so i have to see first where she would be going and uh, deploy the rage accordingly so i waited for the eagle to be taken down by the queen let's see where she goes now okay so she might be going towards the right so i deployed the rage okay enemy queen coming for taking okay so as i saw she going for the right in front of the tower i deployed other troops with column and the bowlers with a single jump towards the right hand side and then she was quite uh, splendid warden ability for saving the bowlers from the infernos and the cc okay poison on the cc bowlers working quite hard the max bowlers are quite splendid you know they have quite a high health now the healer switches towards the bowlers and that will do the trick so you want the healers to switch towards the bowlers in the end because you want okay the queen is still alive use my queen ability for taking the expo down in the on the left hand side let's see so the base is quite gone let's see what happens let's speed it up okay Hmm. quite a lot of bowlers are still left single inf single archer was left and it was gone in a second hmm nice so last let's see the raid i did with alama hmm. this will be again as ghv and i'll i'll be putting out more th9 content in the future and uh, i was busy doing the 6k push on my main mb base so sorry for not putting more videos out and i'll be putting out more na th9 content because people like th9 i like th9 and i would like to share my knowledge regarding that you know so here i go again with the healer and giant tanking let's see 
again Valk for taking down the king visits for the funnel let's see what happens now the king and queen is are deployed I still have the CC left I'm not using my CC to give it an extra push push for the center when needed let's see what happens <coughs> Rage on giants. Okay. So I deployed the bullets to take down the TH area. Okay, nice. Now the hawks coming from the top archer tower and arch cannon area. Let's see. Again, Expo haste on the Expo and visit tower. Now the heel will be deployed for the center. Let's see. Yeah. Around the Tesla and the can and the motor range. Mm, let's go. Okay. Okay, so this was the wrap guys. If you like the content please leave a like, subscribe and comment in the board uh, below and uh, please share it with your friends if you like it and uh, promote the channel if you will please for the next time till then ciao